The next generation tire changer has arrived. The EEWH-326A will increase profitability. This machine has the accuracy you demand in the laser-guided mount dismount head. It has the speed you need with a two-speed turntable. It offers a forward speed of 14 RPMs, which gives you faster throughput when mounting the initial bead, and 7 RPMs for precise speed control. It also has the range you require in the three position bead breaker. This allows the machine to cover multiple applications, such as SUVs and light trucks that have taller sidewalls. And it all comes to us from Snap-on. Prior to breaking the bead, be sure to remove the valve core to release the air in the tire. Also, remove any wheel weights prior to breaking the beads. The Snap-on EEWH-326A has a three-position bead breaker shovel. Position 1 covers the range of popular tires 3.5 inches to 13 inches. Position 2 covers many taller sidewall light truck and SUV tires 4 inches to 14.5 inches. Position 3 covers the larger wheel diameters with low profile performance tires 4.5 inches to 15 inches. Select a position that best suits your individual application. Hold open the bead breaker, then roll the tire rim between the shovel and bead breaker pad. At this time, it's critical to ensure that the valve stem is oriented at a 90 degree angle from the bead breaker, if equipped with a TPMS sensor. Also make sure that the tire rim assembly is flat against the rubber breaker pads on the side of the machine. The bead shovel is designed to press the bead near the edge of the rim, and is not to be placed on top of or over any portion of the rim. Now, activate the bead breaker pedal on the far right. As soon as the bead dislodges from the rim, release the breaker foot pedal. It may be necessary to rotate the tire 180 degrees or less and repeat the above procedure to dislodge all beads. Pay attention during this operation and don't keep your foot on the bead breaking pedal too long. This could potentially result in bead or rim damage. Now that the top bead is dislodged, it's time to repeat the process for the bottom bead. To help avoid the possibility of pinching the tire as the clamps retract, set the clamping diameter according to the dimensions of the rim by releasing the clamp and sliding it into its proper position. When clamping small wheels 14 inches or smaller from the outside, set the clamps at a diameter nearly equal to the rim diameter before placing the wheel on the clamps. Install the plus four adapters and the offset mount dismount head for applications where the rim diameter is greater than 24 inches. To install them, first remove the clamps by sliding the existing jaws off of the turntable and setting them aside. Place each of the plus four adapters into position over the turntable using the supplied fasteners and tighten them snug. You'll now be able to clamp wheels that are up to 28 inches in diameter on the outside. In order to mount and dismount tires that are greater than 24 inches, install the offset mount dismount head. First, unscrew the spanner nut and remove the mount dismount head. Note that the thread is counterclockwise to loosen the nut. Take the offset mount dismount head and position it so the notch lines up with the roll pin on the head. Screw the spanner nut clockwise until snug. Now, take the spanner wrench and finish tightening the spanner nut. You'll now be able to perform tire service on rims that have 28 inches of diameter. Note that the plus four adapters are only used to clamp wheels from the outside. Place the wheel with drop center up on the turntable. It's necessary to make sure the clamps are in their proper position at the rim edge and are not pinching the tire. To assist in this process, use the wheel centering depressor to place a downward pressure on the rim. Place the wheel centering depressor into position at the pilot hole of the rim and actuate the lever on the pneumatic bead assist arm to settle the rim's outer edge onto the clamps. Now the rim 
is ready to be clamped onto the turntable. Depress the second pedal from the left, and the clamps will secure the rim with an even amount of force to keep it adequately in place. In the event that the rim needs to be released, press the same pedal down again, and the clamps will retract. At any time, should you want to stop the jaws from retracting, release the pedal all the way up, then press down halfway to stop the jaws at a desired diameter. Release the wheel centering depressor. Next, we'll lubricate the top bead to make it easier to dismount. Raise the roller higher than the tire sidewall and extend it over the sidewall. Next, lower the pneumatic bead assist roller to expose the bead of the tire far enough to insert the paste brush. Apply the supplied tire mounting paste to the paste brush and apply the paste to the rim and tire bead area. Depress the third foot pedal from the left halfway down and cover the top bead of the tire with paste. The tilt tower is operated by the far left foot pedal. When the pedal is depressed, the tower will tilt forward into position. The next step is to turn the laser guide on, which will assist in locating the mount dismount head on the rim edge. Next, push the button on the tilt column handle away from you when beginning to locate the mount dismount head on the rim edge. This will allow the head to float. The handle grip allows you to slide the head fore and aft. The top cap moves the head up and down. Use the laser guide to line up the head with the edge of the rim. Once the head is in place, push the lock button to lock it into place. The mount dismount head will automatically position itself approximately 1 16th of an inch away from the rim's edge to avoid contact. Press the third pedal from the left to rotate the turntable and ensure the head is clear of the rim, stopping the mount dismount head just before the valve stem. This is an important step to make sure the TPMS sensor does not get damaged in the tire dismounting process. First, use the top roller on the pneumatic bead assist to push the top bead down slightly. Next, take the tire lever and insert it between the tire and rim at the mount dismount head. Then the top roller can be moved out of the way. It's necessary during the removal process to press the top bead into the drop center of the rim. Use the bead depressor on the pneumatic bead depressor prior to rotating the turntable. Next, Pry the tire lever towards you to pull the top bead of the tire onto the top of the mount dismount head. Once the tire is successfully on top of the mount dismount head, the tire lever can be pulled out. Press the third foot pedal from the left halfway down to remove the top bead. Continue to rotate the turntable until the top bead of the tire is completely removed. To remove the bottom bead of the tire, Use the power lifting disc to pull the bottom bead of the tire up. Take the tire lever and insert it between the bottom bead of the tire along the notch in the mount dismount head. Now pull the tire lever towards you to bring the bottom bead of the tire over the mount dismount head. Use the bottom bead roller to pull the bottom sidewall of the tire up. Now remove the tire lever. Press the third foot pedal from the left to rotate the turntable and remove the tire. While dismounting the lower bead, press the pedal all the way down to rotate the turntable at 14 RPMs and speed up the removal process. Prior to installing the tire, lubricate the top bead. Rotate the valve stem 180 degrees from the mount dismount head to ensure the TPMS sensor is not damaged in the installation process. Place the tire on the top of the rim and hook the bottom tire bead over the mount dismount head. Press the third foot pedal from the left all the way down. To install the top bead of the tire, use the top bead roller to apply a slight amount of pressure on the sidewall. Next. Use the bead depressor to push the bead into the drop center of the rim. Press the third foot pedal from the left halfway down to complete the top bead installation.
Next, remove the bead depressor from the tire and swing it out of the way. Be sure to push the top bead roller in as well. By pressing the leftmost foot pedal, the tilt tower can be moved out of the way. If mounting another tire and wheel assembly of the same size, the mount dismount head can be left in position and will not need to be repositioned. Unclamp the tire from the turntable by pressing the second pedal from the left. Lift the tire and wheel assembly up enough to clear the clamping jaws. Press the second pedal again to bring the jaws to the center of the turntable. Place the tire back onto the turntable. Place the inflation hose on the valve stem. If needed, steel rims can be clamped on the inside during the bead seating process. This is particularly necessary when the bead seating jets are used. Pressing the inflation pedal all the way down will activate the bead seating jets. By pressing the inflation pedal partially down, air will flow into the tire. Use the inflation gauge to inflate the tire with the required amount of air. <laughs>